And welcome back, everybody. Welcome back Woo. to the um, Nagri and uh, Thok fight. I can't wait for Nagri to win so we can rub it in Inch's face. <laughs> Seppuku. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> Let's make a new character. Okay, Inch well. will fail me. <laughs> Seppuku. Here we go. Let's take a grenade oh. and just hold it in my mouth. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's been you my turn. Uh huh. And, and then you actually roll, you a, roll a one, and, and it doesn't light. even hurt you at all. It's it actually takes right? away your bear power and that's <laughs> somehow. Oh wait, the le oh yeah, that's true. Hold up. What are you doing? Looking up light. Okay. <laughs> I was looking at it the whole time. Well, I just turned the page. So it's no 98 necrotic damage. Alright. Is that like a fourth level spell you're casting it? Fifth. You have two of those? Oh, wait, no, I don't know. Yeah, fourth level. So 88. Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> He's just trying to look for advantage here, man. That's, it's alright. We need some D8. There's a pool of Artek moving around the arena. <laughs> I mean, if we're in arena, if we're spells. in arena, <laughs> Did you if the space is limited, I feel like there should be unlimited spells, honestly. Do you have all of Artek? Why, why have we made him that's, an Artek suit of some sort? That's what source? he cast from. Oh. I've tried to get a vial before. I, told, I was told I couldn't have that. Well, like, <laughs> like you have one, that's what you, that's what you use to cast. But it's limited. It's not like a pool. It's it not be, like a huge amount. It would be broken. I need to buy a bigger vial, guys. You should carry on a cauldron okay, of Artek so, around with us. <laughs> That's why I wanted the donkeys, guys. Okay? Oh, Jack and Diane. The donkeys were totally there to carry all our oh, shit. Oh, I gotta make a constitution saving turn? I have a war horse somewhere. Right. Uh, oh, fuck that to him. Reflex? What is that? Oh, I lost the page. Ouch. You know what? Don't worry about it. I rolled a one. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh boy. Does that mean I crit you? No. 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 You just get full damage, which is pretty much a good crit. Well, I see an eight. I see two eights. Two eights? Two eights. Two ones, though. <laughs> what the hell? Six. It's a six. What's that one? Oh, Alright, so this is a 510. Blah, blah, blah. 20. 37. 37? Oh. Well, I like this to you. That's very nice. Very nice. Ooh. Ooh. Very nice. Ooh. Push over there. It kind of slopes down. You're about 20 feet in the air right there. All right. Here we go. I haven't moved yet, though. You faced. That's a bonus action. Fair enough. Oh. So move where, back to the middle. Where are you moving? This moved. Move back to the middle. He can grab you, but he couldn't fuck you up. That's true. I'm a, a lot higher. Shoo, back up to the middle. All right. Super. Make oh, some rolls here. Boy. <laughs> Let's see what happens. To be give fair, me, give me my money back. He has magic. <laughs> I'll lose use of my <laughs> my bear. Your me. your bear hands. <laughs> I mean, he might kill me this turn though too. It's... <laughs> okay. So he's gonna kind of do the same deal. Okay. Runs up, spends a key point, makes the jump, and I'm going to spend an extra key point to do some three blows. <laughs> Please miss. Uh, so the wings are not there anymore anyway, so now he's like... On on me, yeah. yeah. He's got you. He's got you. He's going to do there. some like knee attacks because he has you his hands to hold on. Okay. Uh, Does he hit? Yes. Uh, okay. Well, I'm probably dead then. Uh, would so. be twice. No two. Okay. Here we go. So he scurries up. He leaps out with the jumps only monks can make. And actually, uh, give me a d20 roll. Fuck this dice. It was a six. <laughs> okay. I don't know where you're each. Here we go. Yeah. I'm going to use this one now since right. that one didn't roll double digits this whole time. So that would be with 
with two, two actually. I just want to use my free bow right at one. And he swings his legs out and like with with um, kind of like in Muay Thai when they strike with their knees. He drives both of his knees into your gut. Like as hard as he can. That is. Twenty-one dead. Okay, I'm dead. You're out. Yeah. <laughs> that really sucks for him and for you. Well, no, nah, he's actually going to fall to the ground though, isn't you he? You both are. Wait. Yeah. So damage. What? What? What is your? So like, so like my house was at twelve. Okay. So you're being in the negatives. Yeah. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations. She just killed yourself. That that fall <laughs> will basically make you fail one death saving. Okay. Um, the, the fall wouldn't do enough damage to him to knock him out or anything. In fact, knowing that you're like unconscious, he's actually going to kind of move you in such a way that you land on him. You land on him, Aww. so that you don't die. He knew you were Little bro. <laughs> <laughs> he was laughing the whole time. Do I realize that he's doing this? No, no. You're, 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 you're totally. We unconscious. sure as hell do. Yeah. yeah. Please, you all tell me that he did that. You're totally unconscious. That's so sweet. And, uh, well, he's so like, cool. <laughs> and he kind of moves you over. Okay. Well, that was one of the rules, though. It, it's not a fight to the death. I yeah. just want to see. Yeah. Yeah, well, you're dying pretty hard right now. Yeah. So. <laughs> you <laughs> almost go right out. I didn't there. realize there was. That's what happens when there's a roof and you're trying to fly, guys. So, what does Doc have with help? What left health points? Drag is wild. And yeah, I won 4,000. And naturally, Buck wins again. <laughs> um, yeah. he's, a, he's a 5,000 on Buck. So, no, how, much of, is that, how much of his health did I actually take away? Like 94. Damage or like. 94 percent? damage is how much you did. Where how much at? is his health? Huh? Where was 200. He at? 200. Okay. Ah! Call oh, it. Shit. I only have 135, but I got down to one hit point. God damn it! You did. <laughs> You totally did. I'm much more of a baller than I give myself credit. <laughs> well, I don't do that much damage, so... Yeah. Some of that was from the fall. He took a lot of damage from the fall. Uh, he took, I guess technically he would have taken more from that fall, but it's not relevant in this case. Um, so... You're like Kirby. You're going to be passed out for another while. Okay. Um, I'm just like both those. of you, really. So, like, another day passes. Oh you my guys. gosh! I've been I've been trying to get to this Bucks Nun for like go. two days. I'm you can go. I'm going. You can go, right? So like I'm going to um, the Nun. Imp and Nagri are out. Good for various for variously different reasons. Right. Thank God. You want to get smack while we're out, Bob? I'm good. I'll wait till our next break. Yeah, the next break's coming up. Just wait. I figured. Yes. Well, I mean, I figured if we're out, why not go smoke? Turn this down a bit. Or are we all gonna are we gonna wake up and rejoin each other now? Depends on how quick uh quickly I make a passage on this boat because it's not gonna take very much convincing from her. Yes. Yeah. All right. So you make your way over to the Buxom Nun, and it is an enormous. It's pretty humongous ship. Awesome. She said. Uh, as far as ships go, the first thing you notice is the. Uh, take your head. The figurehead. I can't remember the fuck. It's fucking. I just ball. call it a hood ornament. It's the hood funny. ornament. That's funny. Yeah, the hood ornament. That is the uh, big and like it's it. It's been freshly painted, but you can kind of see where it has been painted many, many times. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of has has that look about it. But kind of every time they go to port, they repaint it. She's real kind of paranoid about it. Okay. Like, like OCD about it. So freshly painted. Um, in like white, white flowy robes. That's like super low cut. And mm, yep, I, it's it's awesome. I'm I'm it's super rad. I'm totally down for this ship. Guys. Yeah, and you see, there's about. Get this. Yeah, you can move the pencils and the dice, and we'll go into that with you. So she is at the wheel. And there's about ten other people. Yes. 
Evander, you're with me because we gotta get it on the ship, man. Yep, I'm with you. We got ten other people. And I, I might fuck up and die. Here's, so. here's one. Oh, Hang on, I gotta find find all the. What? Let me have some. Of that. I only have some of that popcorn. Oh. Corn. Yes. I know walking somewhere. There he is. Okay. Got some. This dude kind of looks like Jack Sparrow. He does. A little bit. What you got, folks? Oh, uh, Captain Morgan. Oh, ah, these guys look like so much fun. Oh, yeah. There's a little dwarven man who looks very interesting. Kind of a tinkerer. You see him over here. Okay. Uh, I'll talk to him, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a good crowd. Yeah, all kinds of tricks up my sleeve. <laughs> Pretty good crowd. He's like leaning up against the mast, taking a nap. He's a big old boy. Oh, I should probably. Uh, oh man, fuck the captain. I'm going after a little mate over there. Yeah, that's fine. It works. It works out nicely. And uh, there should be more. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta find the ones I want for that. Guys, this looks like the greatest ship I've ever seen. This is it's too much fun. She's got some bruisers. She's got some like, it's, you know, dualisty type individuals. There's a. There's Are these all women though? No, no. there's okay. one woman. There's gonna be. There's gonna be more women. I know. Here's one. And <laughs> this is like the hottest barmaid ever, but I'm going to use it as well yes. one of the characters. All right. I know, right? That ship looks great. All right. What the hell is that? So there's a lot of people kind of milling about. They do seem... Yes. This is about as much crew as she would need to, to run the ship, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Give or take. Uh, one thing that you notice, and this is important... This is one of the few ships that's on the docks here that has um, <clears throat> what they call rune cannons. Essentially, uh, <clears throat> there are these cannons that have runes etched into them, and sitting next to each of the cannons, there are these crates that you notice where there's a uh, there's there's shells and they glow different colors so like there's a there's an does orange it, one does it remind me of the grenades in any way that we kind of yeah okay yeah so like there's some orange ones there's some blue ones there's some purple ones there's some green ones it's kind of like um give me an arcana check well i'm good at that <laughs> Carol, I'm with you, too. Yeah, you're with me, too, right. so that works. I think Cy will go with you guys as well. All right. Cy will actually has that, right? Cy does not have Arcana. Nobody does. No. It's okay. We're, we'll, we'll get Nat 20. Nat 20, guys. Come on. <laughs> I have Arcana. You're, you're dying. I'm passed out. Um, I have 17. Uh, yeah, I got 13. Yeah. So you can recognize that uh, these shells, because, no, granted, you can't see the whole shell. Just kind of like the tops of them, mm. but they, it's, it's our tech, essentially, that are, um, what's we're looking for? They're attuned to different elements, so okay. like the orange is fire, the blue is ice, purple's lightning, Got green it. is acid, etc., yeah, and there's like, there's three, three, in, in the crate, there's there's three shells of each type that are there. And in some of the crates, you see that, that like they're missing, and some of the crew ha are, are like coming up from below decks with spare shells to, to put back in the crates. Okay. And on, on, on close inspection, the crates are actually like bolted down so that in, you know, ship... Mode. One doesn't get all. It doesn't like slide off the ship or, or kind of move around okay. or anything. So it's kind of like a, a, a holding places for the runes. Okay, that's good. Um, for the like, safety, time. safety first. See the ship's yeah. safe, Evander. This is I like like what I'm seeing. Uh, this is a safe ship the, right now. 
for the sake of the marker, the plank, the gang plank to get on is going to be right here. Okay, so I'm going to be. Yeah. Actually, so the outside. Okay, cool. <clears throat> yeah, so like, that's the docks. There, there are essentially two docks on either side. And I can what see all these people from is? where I'm at, right? Hmm? I can see all these people? Oh, yes. Um, I'm actually, I don't know, um, if any of these other people, I only see one dwarf, I assume, on, on the ship, it looks like. Yeah, so he's, I'm, he's I'm kind actually, of tinkering with one of the... I'm actually going to try to, to yell at the dwarf in Dwarven, because I can speak that now, All right. to get him to come talk to me. Okay. What do you yell? Dwarf! Ahoy! A midget bitch. <laughs> dwarf! Ahoy! Wow. Okay. Um... What are you doing? I have advantage in persuasion. I'm trying to persuade him to come give, to me. Give me... So. Give me... Persuasion <laughs> That's a 23, and an advantage is a 25. Okay, got it. Yeah, so he kind of turns boy, around. Boy. He kind of turns around. He has uh, he has like a, a ledger in his hands and these kind of uh, like goggle spectacles kind of thing. And he kind of squints at you, and he and he moves over to the uh, to the edge of the ship here. Yes. How's how's the sea traveling going for you, my friend? Well, it's okay. I'm not real. I'm just here to fix the cannons. Oh, oh! Is there any way I could uh, possibly come up there and speak to you real quick? You want to speak with Muriel? I'm very busy. Can, can you at least somehow tell them I'm coming on board? Is there any way? Well, like, they all can see you. Like, they heard well, you I'm, cry I'm out. speaking in Dwarven, though. Oh. <laughs> well, right. Where the dwarf to take me? Muriel, um, who's, who's kind of, like, tending to the wheel and, like, making sure it's all secured properly and everything before they head out, um, looks up and it calls out to you in Dwarven, uh... What do you want? I want to speak to you. We need passage, please. Passage. This isn't my only... Me these aren't my only only friends, passage. too. Passage. Mm. Passage. Passage. Passage to where? What is that place? The yeah. other land. Ch Chigoss. <laughs> you know where we need to go, woman. <laughs> Chigoss. Chigoss. Come up here. Yay. Don't play. Yay! I don't think I can maintain that voice for long. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yay! Ooh. We made Ooh. it. Come up here. Ooh. We made it. Wow, you're more beautiful than I thought you could ever be. <laughs> you know what? You need the lady killer she, perk. She cracks I a little. Like she cracks a little smile. Uh, I hear that a lot. I hear that a lot. Well, they're not lying to you. Chigals is. Where did you buy a case of beer? You gotta finish all of your whiskey first. Okay. No, don't tell him that. This isn't much. Chigals is I really, uh, don't the really far yet. out of the way. Uh, how do you intend to make this worth our while? And is it just the three of you? No, there are more. Um, we had a we had a couple. Uh, we could say minor incidents hmm. while at the festival this week. Uh, you may have actually heard of, of of a band called Nightmare. Ah, yes, I have. Yeah, that's that's my doing, by the way. Oh. Also, you may have heard of Inch the Pussy Smash. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, he lost. Bring me up. <laughs> getting... God damn it! I lost the <laughs> dollar. I'm getting my my map out of here. All right. I lost my Valor! I lost with Valor. I just lost okay. with the Enchanted. Um, the Noble thing. Battle. Uh, yeah, I, we just got it's in port to yeah, stock it. up for our trip down to Adesai, um along the coast. 
And uh, this is, I mean, we heard about the Battle of the Bard, and the fact that you won. Yes. But uh, beyond that, uh, we haven't, I mean, I've never, I don't know of any of you. Amps the Pussy Snatcher. Bring it up. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> bring it up. What is the, because uh, that's really, we have, we didn't really, I mean, we can make what? the trip. We've made the trip before. Well, what, what do you guys plan on? What, what are you guys planning uh, on doing? Well, we were, we were. You don't mind me being nosy. We typically just sail around the coast until, you know, better offers come around or like if we're, if we're bringing something to somewhere or we hear about a, uh, a pirate ship out to sea, we'll go capture it. And well, I'm, I'm pretty sure around. on the way there we might be able to find a pirate <laughs> ship or two and I just stumble along the way. Uh -huh. <laughs> you don't ever offer her gold. I'm <laughs> uh. <laughs> stingy. Fuck you. <laughs> so, we have heard no, There, there's no reason for us to go. Well, we, we, we uh, have heard that there is a, a town maybe that you guys might want to you know, help us out with. Um, apparently, people are disappearing. It's covered in fog, so we don't I've even know what's. I've heard of that. That is going. not a coastal town. Well, we just want to get dropped <laughs> anyway. off. Huh? We just want to get dropped off. <laughs> and we spread the good name of you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I will treat you so well on the way there. Give me a persuasion roll. You said they normally have advantage with 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 dwarves. With dwarves. Oh, yeah. she's not a dwarf. Yeah. What would have been 30 seconds of just offering gold does not turn into a 10 minute persuasion check. Yeah, you can. I'll wake up yet. I'll be like, I'll be like, I'll be like, I'm tired they, of being asleep. No, we're not, but I would they like just, to. So uh, just, just persuasion? Yeah, so all I need? Persuasion? Mm hmm. Oh. 18, that's not terrible. 18. Can I, like, um, make my way up and, like, Start you have to find them. Do you, you have any? Do you guys even know, have gold? I have sure. gold. Let's we'll go. get to that yeah. here in. So okay. We'll see. So it the fight happened. You got your money. Oh, yeah, you mm -hmm. can swim too. Can't you? And uh, then you had to doubt, right? And it yeah. took you about probably half an hour to forty minutes or so to get all the way to the docks because it's still a bit crowded in the city. Yeah. And then maybe about ten or fifteen minutes after that to make it to like find the the bucks of none. And so while while you're chatting with them, we're gonna come I also over here. actually mentioned that I have unlimited alcohol possibilities and free entertainment. With the with with the idea that I can inspire in case things go haywire. Unlimited alcohol is a big bonus. So yeah. that's good. <laughs> That's good. Let me get so, ahead of that. That's good. Um, I don't want to give up the money, man. We'll come right back to your conversation. Okay. okay? So, Imp, uh, you're <laughs> like you're kind of like half asleep, <laughs> still still getting hit by that, uh, you know, death dancer drink, and uh, you can kind of see, but you're super groggy. But like you the see them tickets. bring in Nagri and kind of set him down on like one of the, the couches, the fluffy couches, and they feed him a potion that's going to heal him up. This is your charge uh, potion. So you you regain or you're you're up to fifteen hit points. Yay! Yay. And they also because you've been in the stupor for a while, <laughs> and they're you know like. Is he hung over? The barmaid. He drank us. I'm beyond the answer. There's no. The barmaid. I might is, have an alcohol cure in my bag, which I yeah. totally have one yeah. of those. The barmaid's going to kind of walk up and, and, you know, are you okay? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> what oh. year is it? Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna roll over. Let me guess. Yeah. You drank a death dancer. Yeah. Okay. I did. Give me one second. And she goes over to to the bar and comes back with the little um, kind of green, it's really gross looking green colored fluid uh, and like kind of makes you drink it. 
It's nasty. It is this so is you're gross. In. But <laughs> within. Oh no! <laughs> I got pee. Within about thirty seconds or so, your head kind of clears up, and like the alcohol craziness that is the Death Dancer kind of fades away. So you guys are both aware now. Excellent. You're up. You're you're a little stiff because you kind of fell asleep in that chair for a while, but you're okay. Yes. Right? So if you guys want to try to find the other members, well, I'm gonna look at her and be like, eh. actually, I want to get your swag inspected. To figure okay. Out what the fuck's okay. Going on with it. We'll do oh, that no. in the next oh, no. video. Later. Later. Can we get smoking now? Yeah.